Hello lovely Aquarius, I'm so happy to see you here and today we will be doing your love monthly reading for the month of July 2020 and keep in mind that this is a general reading so if it doesn't resonate with you in any way that's absolutely normal it happens and you can always check out the sun sign, the moon sign and ascendant sign for the monthly reading to have a bigger picture so yes let's see what's happening for aquarius in the month of july wow i almost saw the four of wands that's a very stable energy very committed very happy that's nice to see okay the month of july 2020 love life of aquarius july 2020 okay we have the seven of cups as a general energy for this month and supported by the card of lovers i feel like you are scared to dream here aquarius like you are thinking am i dreaming too far am i being too up in the air am i not grounded enough and am i dreaming of something that can't come to fruition is it is this union not possible am i being too unrealistic so these are kind of the energies that are coming through it's like you are doubting your ideas about this union let's see more wow okay okay so at the moment aquarius you are feeling very excited very hopeful and this is like a fresh feels like a fresh thing for you fresh relationship fresh union if it's not new then this is like a renewal in whatever situation you had in your in if it was a committed relationship then this is a renewal but this feels like something very exciting for you something that you are willing to start anew to be new to take a leap of faith to be brave to be um, to be objective, to not hold on to anything and just jump and dive in into the energy of this relationship, into this union. And um, so what are you entering here, Aquarius? What is it that you are so enthusiastic about at the moment? It's like you feel like a child, that you are ready to discover something new, to learn something new. It's a very enthusiastic energy, yeah, and very adventurous. So what is it that you are jumping into? Two of Cups, into love, into union. That's a new beginning for you and you feel like that this is it. This is someone who can give me so much love, so much joy, so much bliss. Like this couple, they are completely enamored by each other. They are completely there is no one in the world for them other than each other two of cup of cups is a beautiful harmonious card and this is how you feel you are ready for this you want to jump in what's happening with your person aquarius your person is struggling in some way in their life it's like everything is too difficult for them like there are too many responsibilities they are own responsibilities and the responsibilities of the people around them that they put on their shoulders and struggle with and it's like maybe they regret it already but they can't shake it off these responsibilities these things that they have to carry on their shoulders on their back what is it why are you what are your responsibilities what makes your life so difficult tell me what makes your life so difficult mm, okay Again, four of wands. I saw this card when I was shuffling. What I see is that your person, something is changing in their life. They have this tower moment. Something changed so fast. It's like they didn't expect that everything will be crumbling down. It's like something in their life is unexpectedly, possibly ending or going through a strong uh, transformation, through disruption, through... And I feel like this is somehow related to how they, to this relationship, because because of this tower moment, 
of because of this disruption they are very very distrustful like they need to protect themselves from attacks from other people from judgment from maybe society maybe the way the family sees this relationship it's too heavy on this person it's too heavy for their soul it's too heavy for them to carry this load of expectations possibly of possibly judgment and labeling and someone nine of wands is this energy like i'm gonna stand my ground and i'm not gonna let anyone take away what i have and very hostile energy towards others and this is very difficult for your person but they want to come to this happiness with you they want to celebrate this love with you four of wands this is a beautiful energy of understanding of working together of coming to something f fruitful something stable and committed and this is on their mind Okay, what is what are your what are, what is the common energy between the two of you? We have the hierophant, and that's the energy of a big picture of a lot of learning in this relationship. So if you just came together with this person, be sure that you will learn a lot from this relationship. That you will transform on so many levels. You will see the bigger picture of your life, of this relationship, of your mission in life. This is a very spiritual card as well, so you might have a very strong spiritual connection with this person. Also, this is a card of marriage. And if some of you have been in a committed relationship with this person, it's very possible that this is uh, a marriage proposal or marriage potential. Very beautiful energy. In fact, we have three major arcana here, the Fool, the Hierophant and the World. And this, this definitely tells me that this connection is uh, extremely significant in your life, in, in the life of your person. It was meant to be, it was meant to come around. You were meant to experience everything that's uncovering to you. So you future, your future plans for this relationship, you have the World card and you are open to anything you want peace with this relationship you want um, harmony you want possibly to travel the world with this person to um, discover new things to see the bigger picture to learn something to you're very open in this relationship and very very hopeful also if you've been in some um, conflict previously then you want a reconciliation you want to come to peace to um, some sort of resolution of this conflict why is the world here for Aquarius why is the world card here for Aquarius mm, mm -hmm. okay I strongly have a sense that someone outside of this connection was making it difficult for you to be together, to uh, develop this, to grow it into something. Possibly even you had some miscommunication or some disagreement between the two of you that kind of um, separated you. We have this card of death. and. Um, but this was not this is not it for you because this relationship is exactly what you want this is your dream come true it makes you so emotionally satisfied and so emotionally happy this connection so what else what else comes out of it this situation the hierophant the nine of swords the moon oh wow Oh wow, I feel like there was definitely some hiccups in your relationship, something happened, maybe your dreams fell crashing down because of this ending of this conflict that happened between the two of you, like this um, situation where you couldn't work, work together or someone was like whispering in your person's ears and making it difficult for them to be with you, so you just cut this whole situation and because your wishes weren't it was like a wishful thinking for you that's how you felt and you realize that you need to go inside you need to go within the higher fund you need to um 
nurture your soul first of all rather than being so involved in this relationship you need to be alone for some time maybe you took a, you went um, you distance yourself from this relationship but I feel like this person still came around there was still some communication maybe an argument maybe, maybe very aggressive forceful communication and some fears came through you discussed some fears and then you realize that uh, there's not enough of love, not enough of sharing, not enough of security in this relationship, five of pentacles, that you need to feel more safe about everything that's going on, you need to feel more secure and stable, and then this person will come around and share with you finally. It's either something that's already happened or this is something that's in store, and I feel like this is something that's in store for you. Aquarius. So your person will come around and they will share with you, they will support you, they will give you what you need from this relationship finally. And there will be this reconciliation the world. Oops. And um, what's happening with your person in the near future? We have the Eight of Wands. It's a very passionate energy. It's a very fast communication. They will be like, it's a love bombing energy. It's when they can't contain how much love they have for you. And um, what are they go going to come forward with? What are they going to bring you? What are they going to tell you? That's a lot of texting, a lot of conversation. Or possibly they will even come towards you and it will be very loving, very passionate, very affectionate. It's a lot of love and very fast. What is it? What are you bringing to your Aquarius? How are you coming to them? In what way are you approaching them in the future? Yes, you are someone they love and they deeply care about you and you know how much they love you and um, yeah absolutely they know that they've been de defending themselves for so long because of their own baggage of the influences of the judgment and they were in this defense mode defense state but they love you they see you as someone beautiful feminine so kind so caring so empathetic so supportive but they couldn't let your love in because of this defense and they had to see things differently from a different perspective for for a while because they were trying to find the goal trying to see the how to approach you how to get to you how to communicate with you because you are so unreachable you're so beautiful like you're like a wish come true for them this is actually the card of aquarius the star and you are so unconventional, so magnetic, so beautiful, spiritual. You are someone who they admire so deeply. So they wouldn't be able to contain it anymore because they're definitely coming around and fast. They're definitely wait for some communication, wait for some date or something is happening. And the common energies between the two of you, we have the King of Pentacles. That's a very stable energy. And this energy is available for the both of you. You can reach this state of commitment, stability, love and uh, support and King of Pentacles. Why do we have the King of Pentacles here? For Aquarius, why do we have the King of Pentacles? Interesting. Wow. There was a lot of happiness, a lot of love between the two of you, a lot of laughter, a lot of um, joy, and you just spend really good time together. You you make each other happy, you make each other enjoy this life. But at the same time, someone had to leave, someone had to distance themselves, and it could be them, could be you, you know better, and leave behind all of those emotions, all of those feelings, and uh, move towards something else. But still, there is hope for this relationship, and possibly your person knows 
they can't let go of you yet. They can't let go. They know that sometimes it's difficult for you to work together because you have different opinions probably on some things. Sometimes you argue, but there's so much passion as well. It's like you make them so creative, you make them so spiritual, you make you give them so much energy and they want to be this king of pentacle for you, someone you can depend on, someone you can rely on because they want to be with you. They want to come through to you. And the most likely outcome of the situation, we have the Queen of Swords. And that's the energy of being straightforward with each other. Of cutting the bullshit. Of um, coming to the point of this relationship. Sharing your truth. And sharing, sharing it in a very honest way. In a very straightforward way. And I feel like this is going to be you, Aquarius. What are you going to share? What is this conversation going to be like? Bet Oops. Between the two of you. What are you going to talk about? Three of Wands, Knight of Cups and the Strength. That's beautiful. You will just talk about how much you want to work on this and how to best work on this, how to make plans, how to execute those plans, the strategy of making this relationship work. Because yes, there are hardships, yes, there are pain, there is pain, there is confusion, but also there is a lot of spirituality, there is a lot of love coming through to you from your person. You come to them as a queen of swords, very logical, very harsh, sometimes even cold and distant. But... They will come to you as a knight of cups, someone that's full of love, someone that's full of emotion. Look how many lovely uh, heart-shaped bubbles here coming from his cup. They will come to you with this genuine feelings and they will come to you with strength. Or maybe you will be someone who will tame their uh, fears and worries and you'll finally find strength in each other. You will be strong for each other. We have this beautiful... A uh, card of strength, and this woman is kind of petting the um, the head of this lion, and I feel like this is you can find yourself in this picture. Either you could be either the lion or the woman. This is a beautiful, strong energy, and there is love, there is understanding, there is going to be work. You will decide the right strategy of how to make this relationship work in the most efficient way for the both of you. Let's ask for an advice for you, Aquarius. July 2020. How should you approach your love life? What should you focus on? How should you act? What should you do? Aquarius, July 2020. Wow. We have this card that's called Orphaned. And this card also always tells me that... Um, the person who this card is talking about is feeling like they can't fit in with whatever situation they're in. Like they're too different, they're too... Like people are judging them for the way they look, for the way they behave, for the way they live their life, for, the, for who they choose to love, to be with. And I feel like there is a lot of judgment in this whole reading. Someone from the outside has been judging you or them or this whole relationship. And this card orphaned always always translates this loneliness and this feeling of not being able to fit in to be like everyone else to be accepted but it doesn't really matter if you accept each other that's absolutely fine don't worry about being different don't worry about sticking out or being unconventional or unusual or this relationship being in some way unusual or different or taboo even for some of you maybe that's absolutely fine Maybe you have an age difference. Maybe it's a same-sex relationship. Anything. It can be anything. That's fine. You can be different and you still can be loved. And you can give love to another human being. And there is a lot of love to give. And this is a very meaningful relationship. Three major cards. Major arcana cards. You kidding me? <laughs> Aquarius. That's going to be great. They love you. They'll go through the, their difficulties. They'll come and love bomb you show you their love and you'll figure this out it's gonna be great 
I hope this reading helped you and if you liked it, please give me a like or subscribe or leave any opinions in the comment section. I love to read your stories and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye bye.